Greetings, Toiletarians! I am your host, Toilet Terry, and you guys are all watching Toilet Talk with, or should I say, Turkey Talk with Terry. That's me, obviously. Happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving, folks. That being said, the discussion topic for this episode is not only Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving, the Grandkid Olympics edition. So yeah, Thanksgiving is basically the Olympics for family, food, and chaos. And if you're lucky, a few embarrassing moments that possibly will haunt you for years. <laughs> Let's start with the food first. Every year we meet at grandma's and without fail, we always end up overcomplicating the meal. Every year, Grandma says, oh, it'll be simple. It'll be simple. Just turkey stuffing and a few other sides. Lies. <laughs> I sit down at the table, and I kid you not, there are 47 dishes. 47. And I'm like, who invited the entire state of Kansas? I look around. I I'm eating all the food on my plate. I'm looking around. I see my cousin eating all the food on his plate. And I'm thinking... We're a family of a bunch of competitive eaters, but without the training. <laughs> now the turkey, oh boy, don't even get me started on the turkey. Every family has one family member that carves the turkey each year for, Thanksgi for Thanksgiving. But in our family, it's a full-on ritual. My grandpa, oh, God bless him. <laughs> he carves that turkey like it's a sacrificial offering. He just starts hacking away. He's like, another sacrifice, Lord. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that one year, that one moment, one year, when the turkey finally decides it's done being turkey and slips off the table. <laughs> mm-hmm. But the real hero on Thanksgiving, the dressing. Yes, let me tell y'all for a second about my great-grandmother's famous turkey dressing. It's a legacy in our family. It has been passed down for generations. Have you ever had a food so good that it could solve world peace? Well, that's this dressing. It has all the spices, the butter, and that one secret ingredient that we still can't figure out. Because <laughs> our grandpa won't tell us what it is. He's just like, oh, that's only for the Lord to know and me to hide under three layers of aluminum foil. <laughs> And now, it's our grand, us grandkids' job, me and my sister, to help our grandpa make the dressing every year. To help our granddaddy make it every year. Which we don't even know how we ended up with that responsibility, because we could barely make a decent PB&J. <laughs> but anyway, to us it's simple. To our grandpa and to us it's simple. But to any, outsider, any outsiders, it's pretty much the equivalent of equivalent of climbing Mount Everest without a map. <laughs> so there we stand in the kitchen each year, me and my sister, standing around the kitchen like some sort of Thanksgiving SWAT team. <laughs> my grandpa, granddaddy, is running a tight ship, barking out orders. Okay, all right, time to make the dressing. Hut, 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 hut. All right, start tearing up the bread, but not too much, because we need chunks, not crumbs, chunks. <laughs> And I'm thinking to myself, chunks? I can barely cut bread without cutting my fingers off. <laughs> and then, after that, Grandpa's like, all right, time to add the broth. I swear, he pours that broth in the dressing like it's he's pouring some sacred oil in it. <laughs> and as he's pouring it, he whispers to the dressing as if it's his firstborn. <laughs> kind of like one of those charismatic preachers do on stage. When they do an altar call, all right, a little more, a little more, a little more. I'm thinking to myself, um, granddaddy, is this Thanksgiving dressing or is it a potion to summon a food god? <laughs> and then comes the spices, grandmama's secret spice mix. It's like a mix of spices we can't even identify. I've tried Googling it. Grandma's secret Thanksgiving dressing recipes, and it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. 
At this point, it's less about what we put in the dressing and more about Grandmama barking at us to mix it better, mix it better. <laughs> it's like we're in a thanks, it's like we're in a Thanksgiving boot camp. One wrong move and you're exiled from the kitchen for life. <laughs> but here's the best part. The best part is when the dressing is finally finished, we've done our best. Granddaddy says, all right, let it sit. Let, we're gonna let it sit. And if you touch it before the turkey comes out of the oven, it's gonna curse the entire meal. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, uh, Granddaddy, I didn't, I came here for food, not a food curse. <laughs> then finally, Thanksgiving dinner arrives. And when that dressing hits the table, when that turkey dressing hits the table, it's like the Olympic gold medal. <laughs> Everyone's quiet for a second. It's a serious moment. But then everyone just starts shoveling in. And then my sister's over there eating hers and saying, Mmm, yes, this is the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. And I'm like, well, yeah, Karen, we cooked it together. But yeah, <laughs> it's magical. But every year it's the same, really. Granddaddy, Grandmama, and the grandkids... The two grandkids, me and my sister, when we were kids, always always be running around, dodging each other when fighting over the first slice of pie, trying to get to the first slice of pie. Mm -hmm. But to this day, we still leave every year with full hearts, full stomachs, and for the next 12 months, a little less faith in our cooking abilities. <laughs> so here's to Thanksgiving, folks. Here's to Thanksgiving Day. The one day a year when you pretend you don't need a nap after that first bite of stuffing. <laughs> and if you, and if you can make it through the Grand Kid Olympics and the, the turkey carving, then you just might make it to des dessert without offending anyone. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving. Hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving, whatever it is you celebrate. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, this video, this discussion topic. Don't forget, as Christmas is coming up, especially, to drop a like on this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button for more content, which will be great. Y'all won't want to miss it, especially around the holiday season. That being said, keep it real and happy, happy Thanksgiving. Stay thankful and peace out.